Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell. And today, today's gonna be a good one. If you are in the curly hair community and you probably have heard some buzz about the way things have shifted, I've definitely been having my own feelings and opinions about things. It's been very interesting to hear from some other curly hair content creators out there. Miss India Batson, someone that I love and respect here on YouTube, she just put out a video titled, it's titled, Goodbye Curly Hair Community. As soon as I saw the title of this video, I knew immediately that I wanted to do a reaction video to her video. I can't wait to see kind of what her insight is. Let's go ahead and get started. I have so many mixed feelings about the curly community and today I just want to let it all out. I'm share right my grievances her. and also share your grievances. If you're new to this channel, hello, my name is India. Yes, I do have wavy curly hair, but today it is all brushed so out gorgeous. because I wanted to show imperfection and chaos and fuzz and frizz and six day hair that was slicked back in a bun and then I brushed it out and I just wanted to show the reality of having wavy curly hair. If you could take five seconds to hit that like button at the top of this video before diving in, it would really help me out so much. Yes, and do that here too. If you are here, then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all those things. So on my Instagram stories, I asked you guys to share with me your grievances in the curly hair community, and honey, they are just coming in. They are flowing in. To begin, one of the most common grievances in the curly hair community that I see, and I feel myself, is the perfection of curls. Oh, yeah. And that perfect curl is almost always a 3B curl. That is the goal image shown in ads, shown on television if there is curl representation. Whether you have waves and you're trying to make your hair curlier, I often find myself feeling that my hair needs to be more defined um, to be relevant. And then whether you have type 4 hair, you're trying to make it less curly, it's always striving for that perfect curl. And alongside- Okay, pausing that. Hello there, I'm interrupting this video to bring you today's sponsor. I could not do what I do without my sponsors, and today's sponsor is Dossier. I love their fragrances. It's all I use. Dossier is a luxury-inspired perfume company, and Dossier was founded out of a need to provide quality, amazing perfumes and colognes at an affordable cost, okay? That is why they are here. That is why they are booming, because no one wants to pay huge price tags for fragrances, okay? So today, I'm gonna show you two fragrances that I got for this month, let's see. This one is called Woody Raspberry. Their fragrances come in a little box like this and it comes with a little insert that talks all about your fragrance. And I have recently seen that they have added new fragrances, which I get so excited about. I'm like a kid in a candy store because I like to try literally everything that comes out from them. So this is called Woody Raspberry. It has notes of raspberry, lemon, jasmine, orange blossom. Let's go ahead and try it together. Dossier already has amazing, amazing prices. Everything is from like $29 to $59 for their fa fragrances. Um, but I also have a discount code for them. So check the description box if you haven't tried them. Highly, highly recommend. 10 out of 10, do recommend. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this smells so, so good. You can smell the raspberry in it. It's a very light fragrance of raspberry. If you have anybody in your life that enjoys smelling good, this is the perfect gift. This one, this is, this is a repurchase. I literally have purchased this one multiple times. This is inspired by YSL Mon Paris Perfume. This one is absolutely one of my favorite favorite scents this is like my night out like date night when i want to feel you know sexy and smell good this one is just to die for i talk about them every single month how much i adore and love this company working with them is such a joy and um i just absolutely love them and once again if you have not tried dossier for yourself please please give it a try. With the discount, I mean, it's really, really worth it. And you can return it, no questions asked, if you don't like your fragrance. So there's really nothing to lose. 
but I really think that you're going to gain a lot. So check the description box for everything that I mentioned and let's get back to the program. I could not agree more with what she is saying. There needs to be more representation for wavy girls, definitely more representation for uh, kinky coily girls out there. Every single curl type out there is so beautiful. And yes, I feel like there is always this pressure to have perfect curls. That is a big reason why I have kind of taken a step back from curly hair content. I love curly hair. But I honestly got to that place where I felt like I just, I couldn't live up. I could not live up to that perfection, nor do I want to, because I'm like just a normal human being with everyday errands that I have to run and I get caught in the rain and my hair gets frizzy and I don't want to feel like I am supposed to have this perfect hair 24 seven. So, okay, moving on. That just the perfection of no frizz, perfect definition, volume, wash day lasting seven days to perfection, incredible refreshes day after day. I feel like so often on social media, only the perfections are shown in the curl community. And like, I love frizz. <laughs> you got Listen, perfection is, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. Your favorite curly hair influencers YouTubers, celebrities, whoever it is that you're following that has curly hair, when you are seeing those perfect curls, those are probably right after a refresh, right after a wash day, right after a deep condition. It, it's not the reality of the day in and day out of having curly hair. Like we all know, curly hair is so unpredictable from day to day, it just is. I personally love how my hair looks when I put no product in it, let it air dry out of the shower, and it just gives me big, voluminous, wavy, beachy look. But social media tells us that it's not perfect, and often influencers only show their hair perfect. Next up on the docket of curl grievances, we have, you guessed it, ostracizing the waves and the coils. Kind of along the same lines, but people just saying I'm so sick of people telling wavy girls that they don't have curly hair. I, of course, relate to this so much as someone with wavy hair. I don't have straight hair, so I'm not in the straight hair club but my hair isn't quite like a spiral curl, so I'm not in the curly club, and I'm just kind of in my own little club, like, with the fluffy hair. Okay, like, pausing. Oh my gosh, she is like hitting the nail on the head. We're supposed to be a community. We're supposed to be encouraging each other with our curls. We're supposed to be lifting each other up for embracing our texture, but instead, there's always some sort of judgment thrown at someone else because you don't have the same curl as them. You're not curly because your hair is wavy and just all of the judgment, I can't stand it. I got to a place where I had so many like mean comments about the silliest things. Everything is supposed to be politically correct and I, I just, never felt like I could live up to every single person's standard of what the natural hair or naturally curly hair community was supposed to be. The reason I started making curly hair content is because people were asking me for it. And so I wanted to share what I did with my curly hair because I've had curly hair my whole life. But then you get thrown into this curly hair community and you're ridiculed and you're judged because you're you're not doing things exactly like someone else or your hair's not curly enough. My whole goal was to help people embrace their curls. But we're gonna continue. Probably even arguably the biggest comment is just the rigidity. Rigidity? Rigidness? Rigidness? The strictness of the curly girl method. Right before starting my YouTube channel, I was watching tons and tons of women of color's YouTube videos like Mahogany Curls, Sunkissed Alva, Penny Tovar, all women who I've become friends with today, which is such a beautiful full circle moment. But um, a lot of them preached the curly girl method. And so that is what I really latched onto and followed it very, very, very strictly. You know, you constantly hear influencers say, never use sulfate, never use silicones, never use parabens, never dry shampoo, never wash more than once a week, never try to tangle, never bleach your hair, never straighten your hair, never curl your hair. Finally, I was just like, good night. Like, this is just hair, y'all. Like, it is not that serious. Again, agree, 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 agree. God forbid you used a silicone, then you were just like, 
gonna go to curly hair hell. Goodness forbid if you used a sulfate, you were gonna ruin your hair. I just got to a place where I felt like I could not win and I just wanted the freedom of being able to just live my life and not tied to my hair. I am just not gonna put that much energy into my hair. My my hair should not feel like a prison. You know what I mean? And neither should yours. I do know many of you follow the Curly Girl Method strictly religiously, and I think that's great and amazing if it works for your hair. But as many of you said in the poll, sometimes silicones work for you. Sometimes you want to dry detangle before getting in the shower. Sometimes you want to straighten your hair every couple months because it's fun. You want to switch it up. You get bored. Like, listen, life's too short to never straighten your hair. Yes. Before I ever started making curly hair content, I was doing all the things that on the curly girl method, you are not supposed to do. And it was while I was doing all the things wrong that I was getting comments on my YouTube videos asking me to share my hairstyling routine because everyone loved my curly hair. When I started my channel, it wasn't about curly hair. I didn't start doing curly hair content until I started getting all the comments of people wanting to know my routine. You don't have to be tied to one specific method and if that method works for you and it has helped save your curls, then by all means, you keep doing it. That's amazing but do not cast judgment on those that are doing something totally different and still getting great results. It's losing a large group of people currently because it's so strict and so perfect and has no room for frizz and fun and mess ups, you know? I've had a lot of girls message me recently saying that they're just tired of it all and they wanna just straighten their hair every day. Yeah, and I have gotten the same messages um, more curly girls are reaching out to me now asking me do I straighten my hair and if I do how often because they're sick of dealing with their curly hair, they're sick of the unpredictability, they're sick of the rigidness of the methods that are out there and they're just sick and tired of thinking about hair 24 7. And so many curly girls when they straighten their hair it it feels like you have more control. You know what your hair's gonna look like. You know exactly uh, what to expect from day to day. There's always that unpredictability with curly hair. So I get it, I get it. I think the curl community is a lot to blame because it is so regimented and perfect and so many rules that it can be really exhausting. Next, I'm seeing a lot of comments about the prices of products, and I think that really just depends on you. You, at the end of the day, are the one purchasing the product. I do respect your budget, and I do think that the drugstore has improved so much drastically in the last couple years to where you don't have to spend $30 on shampoo if you don't want to. Yeah, I am definitely one that uses an array of products. I've, I've talked about drugstore products, I've talked about high-end products. More than anything, it's all about you finding products that work for you. Just because an influencer promotes a product, if it's a $32 shampoo and you cannot afford that, then you don't have to purchase that. As an influencer, I love all sorts of products at all different price ranges, and I do understand that some of you don't have the budget for higher-end products, but I'm not going to uh, presume that none of you have the money for higher end products. To conclude, if <laughs> I have ever made you feel like your hair isn't perfect enough or your hair needs to be curlier or less curly or anything like that, I just want to apologize. I think that is pretty much the end of her video. I understand the frustrations within the curly hair community because I've had them too. I am really interested to see what you guys have to say about this topic. What are your thoughts and opinions on it? And how have you been made to feel within the community? I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.